Ano ba yung isang number or metric na kailangan mo malaman for you to be able to grow your business online? And in this video, I'm gonna reveal what that is. Hi Tycoons! This is Fibo Lim, your partner in growing your business online. And in this channel, we publish weekly contents about business, entrepreneurship, and finance. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Don't forget to ring the bell button so that every time we publish new contents, you're gonna get notified. Before we begin, I want to invite you to my free training where I'm gonna share with you how do you sell your products and market your business online. So kindly visit this link, fibolim.com class to register for a free seat. Let's go. So, a lot of people are very confused no, with regards to growing their business online kasi marami kayong numbers na tinitingnan. No? You look at the cost of advertising, yung cost per lead, you know, all these crazy things. no. But one thing that I look at, okay, it is the customer lifetime value. Ano ibig sabihin ng customer lifetime value? Okay, so assuming, let's say you are in the restaurant business. Okay, let's say this is John, and then John eats in your restaurant, let's say, four times a month. Okay, so four times a month, kakain si John sa restaurant mo. So in one year, okay, in 12 months, 48 times per year. Okay, ibig sabihin, John eats in your restaurant 48 times a year. Okay, assuming na you're gonna make 100 pesos for every meal na kakainin niya. Okay, so let's multiply that by... 100, okay? So that is 4,800 if I got that right, okay? So, kumbaga, kay John, okay, kumita ka ng 4,800 in a year. Now, hindi pa yan lifetime dahil one year pa lang yan, but I want to be able to understand and get what I need, okay? So, in this case, if you notice a restaurant business, kumbaga, nagsimula ka, like you only make 100 pesos per meal, but as the customer eats again and again and again, okay, you're gonna make more money because you know they're gonna invite their friends, and then you know this person will eat every week, for example, or every month, for example. So that is how it's computed. So again, let's use naman a different scenario. Let's say you are in the sofa business, okay? So you're selling sofa, and sabi natin na kikita ka ng ten thousand, for example, in for every sofa that you sell, okay? So you make 10,000 pesos for every sofa. But, of course, you don't usually buy sofa every week or every month or I don't also think every year, right? So, sabi natin na you only buy a sofa for like twice per your lifetime, okay? So, that is a lifetime value of 20,000, okay? So, in the restaurant business naman, eto, hindi pa to lifetime value. So, if you expect on average that a customer will eat in your restaurant for like 10, 10 years, so we multiply that by 10 years, Okay, so that's gonna be like 48,000. Okay, so you're gonna make 40,000 for every customer for 10 years. Okay, so every business is different, but it all boils down to the, the same number. Pa rin. How much is a customer worth? Okay, so every business has its own lifetime value. Okay, so may mga business naman na after the first purchase, they're not gonna buy from you. So parang yung lifetime value mo is just because of the first purchase, but there are businesses naman na tumataas yung lifetime value over time. Like for example, consumables like food, uh, supplements, um, you know, skincare products, etc. Okay? So, now, I hope you understand what it means when you say customer lifetime value. It is the value of a customer over a lifetime. Now, bakit ba importante ito? So, let me explain. Okay? Because in business, you have to look at, especially in growing your business online, mangyayari kasi when you grow your business online, you would have to spend for advertising, correct? So, for you to do that profitably, you need to know your numbers, okay? So, in business, I look at the two numbers, okay? The first number that I look at is the lifetime value, okay? And the second number I look at is the cost per acquisition, okay? So, what does it mean when you say cost per acquisition? So, this is how much you're paying to acquire a customer, Okay, so usually when you want to grow your business online, you, you would have to spend in ads. Now, you might be saying, Nafibo, I don't have to spend in ads naman kasi, you know, I'm just doing free traffic or what you call like organic traffic or organic generation like you just share to your friends. Yes, you're doing that. However, that's not a long-term and sustainable way of growing your business. It is because your income is not predictable. Your income is dependent on 
what your friends will share or based on word of mouth, which is very, very not predictable. So in this scenario, in this video, I'm gonna share with you a predictable way on how to grow your business, okay? And the most predictable way of doing that is to know your numbers so that you can be able to spend in advertising, okay? Because in advertising, kasi, it's like a money machine. Na, for example, let's say you, you paid 100 pesos in advertising and then you made back 200 pesos in return. Okay, my question is, how much are you gonna spend in advertising if you may just double, okay? So that is the power of advertising. When you know your numbers, you can spend as much. That's why in our business, we're able to spend over seven digits every month in advertising. It is because we know our numbers, okay? So in this case, sabi natin na yung lifetime value ng customer more, sabi natin, in the first month, you make 2,000 pesos from this customer. But after, you know, 12 months, Okay, you're gonna make like 5,000 pesos. Okay? Now, understand this. Okay? So, be natin, this is like in the restaurant business or something else. Okay, basa, these are the numbers. So, in the first month ng customer, you're gonna make 2,000. But as the customer repurchases over time, so be natin within 12 months, you're gonna make 5,000. Okay? Now, dito tayo sa kabila. Let's say you spent in advertising 500 pesos in advertising. Okay? My question is, are you profitable ba? The answer is yes, because you spent 500 and then you made back 2,000, right? And knowing those numbers is very important because all I have to do is spend as much in advertising. Now, my question is this, what if instead of 500, your advertising expense mo would be 2,000? You're spending 2,000 to acquire a customer, and on the first month, okay, you made back 2,000 pesos. My question is, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna kill your ads and stop advertising because you're not making money? Or are you gonna continue running the ads, okay? If I'm in your shoes, I am gonna continue running it. And here's the reason why. It is because if I spend 2,000 and I earn 2,000, it is as if I acquired a customer for free, okay? Do you understand that? You have acquired a customer for free. It, it's kind of like, nagka customer siya and then you didn't really pay anything. Why? It is because, look at this, as your customer continue to repurchase your product, tataas, tumataas yung lifetime value ng customer, and in this case, you're gonna make like 5,000 at the end of 12 months, which is everything after that, everything after the first month is now pure profit, okay? If you understand these numbers, you're gonna really spend as much in advertising. It is because you know that you're making money, okay? Let's go back a little bit. So for example, this, Assuming naman, you are spending 2,500 in ads. On the first month, you make 2,000 back. What are you gonna do ba? Are you gonna continue running your ads or are you gonna stop? Okay? Now, the answer here would be, it would depend. Depend na siya because at this case, naglalabas ka na ng pera eh. Negative ka na. Negative cash flow ka na. Sa simula lang naman. Okay? However, over time, okay, you're gonna make money naman as your customers continue to repurchase your products. So, yung ibig ko sabihin nito is, when you know these numbers, you can make an informed decision with growing your business with regards to spending. Because literally, most people, their problem is, I just wanna get more customers. For you to be able to get customers, guys, you just have to spend a ton of money in Facebook ads. That's really it. But the reason why you cannot do that Dahil you don't know what your number is. You don't know how much a customer is worth. You don't know if kikita ka ba from that customer. Okay? For example, in this case, ito na lang, perfect example, MLM business. Okay? Sa MLM business, this is what usually happens. Sabihin natin, yung direct referral mo from a downline is 1,500 pesos. So, let's say, typical scenario, you're not gonna spend 500 pesos and make 1,500. That is not gonna happen, especially nowadays. Okay? Now, ano yung typical scenario? Typical scenario would be, you will be spending around 2,000 pesos or more to be able to get one BR. Okay? So, kumbaga, in this case, you are losing money at the front end. Okay? Now, if ever you spend 1,500 and you get back 1,500, you should party because you're acquiring a customer for free. I treat this as acquiring a customer for free. Okay? Now, why? It is because sa MLM business, malaki yung lifetime value. You don't make money sa DR mo or sa direct referral mo. You make money when your downlines produce. I'm sure you have not seen an upline na walang team. Yung gagawin lang, DR lang ng DR. Okay? Of course not. 
So in this case, even if, that's why I even have a friend who is spending like 2,500 to just make 1DR, it is because alam niya na mababawi niya naman yan. Like, sa sales match, mababawi niya naman. If, if this is you, like you have this 1DR and then this 1DR will refer one more, etc. Mababawi niya na naman yan. And that's pure profit. That is what I'm saying about understanding your customer lifetime value. Now, pag alam mo na ano yung lifetime value ng customer, then you already know how much you can spend on ads. Now, this is very important because ideally, okay, you want to be able to break even sa simula. So in this case, this is like the perfect scenario. Let's say again, let's go back to the MLM business. You make 1,500 per DR. So you want to be able to spend 1,500 in ads and make back that 1,500. Okay, again, but that, that usually doesn't happen because of competition and all of these things. But you should know, after a month from this person na mag-enroll siya, how many people on average does he get or yung mapa-enroll niya. So typically, we would want to be able to get that ROI back or to break even within the first month. Once that is achieved, everything in the future is now pure profit. Okay, So that is really it. That is the one number that I'm going to be looking at to be able to grow your business because once you know that number, you know how much you can spend in advertising and you can spend as much as you can as long as you are profitable. Question of the day. In your business, ano ba yung lifetime value ng customer mo? Okay? Comment that in the comment section below because I'm interested to know. And of course, I'm gonna read all of your comments. Once again, if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, I want you to go ahead and click subscribe and of course, ring the notification bell so that you get notified every time we publish new videos. Once again, invite kita sa akin free training kung saan I'm gonna share with you, walk you through how to be able to grow your business online through social media advertising. Just visit this link and register for a free seat. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is Fibo Lim. Achieve success, live with happiness, and enjoy the good life. See you in our next episode.